The arrival of a new species is always a huge moment at Taronga. And after months of planning, the zoo's newest furry celebrities are about to take center stage. A very similar to their guinea pig cousins. Oh, okay. Biggest guinea pig in the world. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, unreal. So it's okay. We're ready to roll. Right, thank you. Today is the big day. The capybara are finally going to come out of quarantine and we're going to move them down to their exhibit within the zoo. And we can start doting on them as much as we possibly can. 50.5. The cappies themselves are quite large, but then the purpose-built crates that they're going to be into are even heavier. So at this point, we're here to provide some muscle support. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll fit, fit. It's a big relief to have this trickier part of the job done. And I just can't wait to get them in the exhibit and get them the fresh air and sunshine and deeper pool to swim in. Yeah, and enjoy them. OK, it's Johnny. I have the Johnny. Johnny, we're just coming down the road towards you now. I'll do that. We're all here waiting. Grant's even here. Wouldn't have missed it for the world, <laughs> would he? As a new species for us uh, as keepers, it's, it's a very exciting day. We're, we've been looking forward to this for some time. Thank you. We're looking forward to getting a chance to start caring for them and learn a bit more about them as individuals and find out a bit more about their individual characters and personalities um, and really start to bond with them as well. Very good. So the plan is we're going to let these two out of the crates and then when they're far enough away, we'll move these crates out, put another two in position and then repeat till all five have been released. Sanchez and Carlos. Capybara can be quite flighty animals, so we don't want to go in there with lots of energy and try pushing them around too much. It's all very much going to be on their terms and how comfortable they are. This is their new home now, so they don't look too agitated and they're being so adorable for us, so um, it's kind of exactly what we want to see in them. It's great. It's exciting. Well, when we picked them up, they were just in the box, so this is the first time I've seen them out of the crate, so they're quite a beautiful animal. And they're just so cute. Look at them. How do you not like them? They're very inquisitive, so... OK, everyone's in position. It's time to let the cappies onto exhibit. <laughs> Well, I'm very happy to officially declare Taronga Zoo's capybara habitat officially open. There you go. <laughs> go ahead. I think you're scaring them there. They were very tentative. Some of them are a little bit more wary, but that's completely fine. We're all different. You're a big, brave boy, huh? You're a big, brave boy. A little bum scratch. Yeah. Yeah, really looking forward to looking after them. Cappies are, are great little animals. Um, they're very social. They'll be displaying a lot of natural behaviours. Um, the exhibit is suited for that, so they can be grazing, they can be in the water. They're very aquatic, so they love the water. Oh, that's deep. It's the deepest water they've been in. So it'll be good to see the five of them out there and doing what cappies do. Oh, they must love being able to actually submerge. They're like, yeah, play fighting in the water. I feel great. It's been a pretty unbelievable day. Like, it's, it's a massive we did at moment. Like, we're so proud of everyone, like the vet teams, our teams, the drivers. Grant did a fantastic job. Yeah, we're, we're over the moon. Like, I couldn't have pictured this day going any better.